Good afternoon, dear friends. With you here today is Sarah, and I'm happy to welcome you to the channel of Luxor Cyprus, real estate of Northern Cyprus. Today is an excellent day, and I have long wanted to show you one of the pearls of Northern Cyprus, Bella Paris Abbey, which is found in Kyrena. The road from Iskali to here took around an hour. We will park the car at a paid parking space at the walls of the Abbey. A panoramic view opens up to Kyrena from the viewing platform. The price of parking was around 5 Turkish Lira, which is around $1. You can visit the Abbey from 9am until 7pm daily. This is one of the most popular tourist places, which you should definitely visit when you come to visit us on the island. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel, and of course, don't forget about the notification bell, and you will always be in the know of our latest news and video tours. You can acquire various souvenirs here in memory of your visit for a price starting at $1. And also, the feel of the local atmosphere over a cup of coffee or tea while enjoying the wonderful views of the Abbey. And here is the ticket window where you can acquire entrance tickets. The large quantity of bills which have been left as a memory from different tourists is really impressive. There is money here from different corners of the world, including the countries of the Commonwealth of Independent States. We have tickets in our hands, and look how beautiful they are. They are worth 9 liras, or about $2. And finally, we can enter. I cannot even use words to tell you the emotions that come over you when you imagine that we're in a place that is more than 900 years old. Pictures from the past immediately come up, like how Troubadours climbed the stairs and met the king. Right now we're entering the church, which is dated back to the 12th century, on which the original paintings are still preserved. The given church is a bright example of the Gothic architecture, not only of northern Cyprus, but of all the Near East. The decorations of a church strike and amaze you. They stir up a large quantity of emotion in you. The church was Catholic and then Greek Orthodox, and up until 1974, services went on and local residents came here. Now it's a simple museum. Just look at the wonderful carvings on the wood that was thought through to the tiniest detail. This is a very beautiful iconostatus, which has been wonderfully preserved to all our days. The church that we left from this is the only building of the 12th century. All the rest are dated at the 14th century and onwards. Now, we will go into the inner courtyard, and I will try to do a tour for you. From the viewing platform opens up an amazing view of Kyrena. Let's go into the dining room of the Abbey, which is active today since musical concerts are going on inside. Musicians come from all over the world and tickets can be acquired at the ticket window near the entrance. Now we have the view of the Roman sarcophagus. If I'm not mistaken, they date back to the second century. There is an amazing moulding, and monks in white clothes. They were not afraid to wash their hands before their meal. We are in the dining room, and thanks to the arcs, there are magnificent acoustics here. A poster is left over from the last concert, and chairs are still set out. And this balcony from which the superior read the prayer before the meal. classroom where the monks studied the local scripture. Unfortunately, only the walls have held up to our time. Now, we're on the second floor. I've gone up as high as I could. The stairs are pretty steep and haven't held up very well. A beautiful view of the mountains opens up, but no tour can convey the atmosphere of the magnificent Bella Paris Abbey, where even the air is soaked with history. We are waiting for you to come as guests. Until we meet again, 
Bye-bye.